95% of Tesla owners miss these very simple maintenance items that you can do for free and mostly at home, starting with tire pressure. Now, tire pressure on most Teslas is rated at 42 PSI. And for any car, if you're not sure what the tire pressure is, for example, the Civic Type R that I recently had was different from the front to the back, you can check it on your door jam right here. Now a great product to have in the sub compartment of your trunk is this little compressor. I actually use this thing to blow up pool floats, basketballs, whatever, and it's just been an excellent item. I think it's like 60 bucks on Amazon and I'll have it linked in the description. So we get a reading right there. You can see 39.5 PSI. And then if I hit the plus sign, you can see it says we're currently set to 35 to let it go. So I need to set it to 42. Then I just hit this trigger. and it automatically stops when it hits the pressure that you set it to. So you can see why this is a really useful product. So keeping the proper tire pressure along with rotating your tires is basically a free thing that you can monitor if you wanna purchase something like this or get free air at a gas station, that's what you can do. Now, the other thing that people will say is that EVs go through tires so quickly because of how heavy they are. But like I've shown in the past, the Model Y weighs around 4,400 pounds. So does the Porsche Macan. So there's other gas powered cars that weigh approximately the same and tire wear is certainly partially attributed to the weight of the car. There's no doubt about that. But the more important thing is, is because the electric motor, I almost said engine, because the electric motor is so torquey, putting your car into chill mode is actually going to save you a lot more tire than you think. People say, oh, well you could just be easy on the throttle. If you don't have to think about it, you're taking the zero to 60 time in a long range Model Y from 4.8 up to a little over seven seconds. So it's not as abrupt, it's a little more rounded of a torque curve. That will absolutely save the life of your tires and you still have a quick car. You don't have to drive like this all the time, but that will extend the life of your tires. So I think one of my favorite things about this is you, you, know, you sit it down, you hit the button and it goes. When I worked in IT sales, it was set it and forget it technology. If you work in IT and a salesperson says set it and forget it, just think about me. I never said that, I hated. People would come in from Dell and they'd be like, this server and this SAN is just set it and forget it technology. I was like, all right, I'm out, left the meeting, done. When your Tesla's in chill mode for an extended amount of time and then you bring it out of chill mode, it's like driving a new car because the acceleration is so precise, it feels a lot sportier and different. Some have even said it's like having a new wife. Now, the other thing you need to do is use Tesla. A lot of people think they can only use the app, they can't go to the service center. For example, this right here is missing. I don't know why one of these is missing. There's also a clip up front that helps stabilize the reservoir for the windshield wiper fluid. So I'm gonna go to Tesla right now. They should have these parts in stock and I should be able to get them right from them. Let's see if it's true. We just saw a guy dancing uh, brain on drugs. But anyways, I have no appointment here pulling up to Tesla service center. Tesla owners, if you don't own a Tesla, Tesla owners come here for like a Sunday service. We all come here and talk about Teslas and how great they are and Elon and his tweets and how he's great. That's what, that's what we do, or at least that's what people think we do. But anyways, I'm gonna walk in the service center here and see if we can get some parts or at least get them ordered and show you what they cost. All right, so both of these parts that I needed, I was able to walk into service and luckily they had them in the parts bin. It was $1.17, so a little expensive. I know some of you would be like, well, why would you replace that? I just believe in keeping all this stuff in order because it could prevent something from happening in the future. It's very cheap to maintain. It's easy to just go into Tesla and get it replaced. So we'll pop these on and be on our way. Also, shout out to the girl that gave me these stickers. She said she, said she watches the channel. Her Instagram is negative space dot X. I actually think these are really cool. Nice artwork. Here's the new F-150 Lightning, which is pretty cool. Yeah, shout out to her. Here's her Instagram if you wanna follow. Thanks for watching the channel. Next is wiper blades. These should be replaced every one to two years depending on usage and if you feel they are performing well in the rain. The blades that I have here are from DEDC and you can get them on Amazon. They'll be linked in the description. What I like about these is they come with two wiper strip replacements, so these will last you several years. If you feel that they're not performing well, just go ahead and swap out the wiper strip and you'll be good to go and they'll start performing like new again. Now, when you put these on your car, it comes with this strip cover this protective layer. After they're installed on your car, 
go ahead and put this protective layer on the strips that you aren't using. That way you can keep this secured and clean while you're not using them. So that's what I would do with that extra plastic piece while this one is on your car for safe storage. In your settings under service, just go to wiper service mode. When you click this, it brings the wipers up so you're easily able to access them and deactivates the motors so you're able to freely kind of move this up along the side of the car. So that's the best thing to do. And after you've put these new wiper blades on, you can go ahead and press that again and it'll recess them back under the hood. So all you need to do is depress this button right here and then that pops out. Now, just as a warning, this is metal actually. This, this is definitely metal, this might be plastic. Either way, when I, you can see when I pulled that out, you kind of slip. You don't wanna let this slam off of your glass, there's a chance you crack it. So just hang on to this part of it, make sure you're just kind of holding on so it doesn't smack off the windshield. So that's one thing to note there. Just take this new part. You can see they are identical here. So we're gonna take this new one and it clicks right into place slide off the protective layer and we're good to go. So you can see this literally will take you less than five minutes. It's very simple to do and everything clicks into place. And again, it's an Amazon link in the description. Now it's never a Jeebs video if I don't show Hydrosilex code Jeebs October or Jeebs November will save you 25%. Now everyone knows to keep their windshield clean on the exterior. I like this stuff because it puts a ceramic coating down so it lets the water bead off more efficiently than a regular glass cleaner. If you don't want to buy this, I get, I get it, Just don't buy it. Use Windex, pee on it, whatever cleans it, cleans it, okay? What I wanna tell you though is, a lot of you vape and smoke cigarettes because you have anxiety and you think that's gonna solve all your life problems. So the inside of your windshield actually gets a film layer on it. And I was just in a rental car and it just had this film vape layer all over the inside of the car. All you need to do, you don't even really need solution, just don't use Windex for this if you have tint. I think there's a little bit of ammonia in that which will ruin the tint. But all you need to do is take a microfiber and wipe down the interior of your windshield. It will give you better visibility. When the sun is setting, that glare will make this unseeable if the inside of your windshield is dirty. Don't be a pig, clean the inside of your windshield. Hydrosilex supports the channel, okay? So, but you don't have to, all right? You don't have to, but go ahead and click it and buy it, but you don't have to. The other thing you're going to want to do, and you'll probably notice this after about one to two years in some Teslas, the one we're about to show you, it gets this like musty, kind of stinky smell. We're gonna take the filters out. We're gonna replace them with these HEPA filters. They're also charcoal cabin. They're activated charcoal. So this is not lazy charcoal, it's activated. I'll have all this stuff linked in the description, but I like this kit. It comes with all the directions, all that stuff. As you can see, it comes with all of the tools you need. So you get this pry tool, you get the torque bit that you need, and then you get this. So you have everything you need in this kit. And this pry tool, especially for Teslas and just like plastics and cars, is very useful to be able to pop things out. I have a discount code, this is very cheap. The other thing we're gonna do to take this one step further, this isn't totally necessary, but will just maybe give you longer lasting results. We're gonna use this Cool It stuff. So what this does is removes odors and in and in allergens, provides a clean and fresh scent. You don't need anything special, just once you pull your filters out, you spray this in, let it sit for 15 minutes and it gives you a really fresh scent and then you put your filters in and then that should give you really long lasting results so that's another thing we're going to do i'll have it all in the description now once you're in the car you're going to use this pry tool to get three of these push pins released once these are released the entire panel will drop down and you're going to need to take this tweeter speaker out again it comes with this tool torque bit which will undo both of those screws so you're able to release this entire unit Get some light there you can see it fits perfectly in there and that's the easiest way to do this as it don't remove this sensor leave that intact just undo these two and then you'll get full access to the panel back here that you need to so here's the filters that we just pulled out again we already had these ones in here same exact filters they are filthy the great thing about them is it gives you directions on how to put them in and then you have these tabs when you actually do the install you'll see why these are important because they stack on top of each other so you have to pull this bottom one up and then pull it out the only way you could do that is with these tabs so they are filthy. You can see the air conditioning has to work extra hard to work. So now we're gonna clean it out, put in new filters. Very simple, and you should be able to do this at home. Now, something we just noticed, we looked at the filters, they're $17. 
this is if you go directly for Tesla, $17 for one, so 34 for two, which is the same cost as these. So I recommend just getting these filters that I'm showing you to put in from Vion. It's just a better deal, comes with the tools and it's a HEPA activated filter as opposed to the paper junk. All right, the air filters are clean and then we cleaned the AC system made a night and day difference immediately smells better it's i'm not gonna lie to you it's kind of annoying to put in there there's a certain income threshold i'm not sure what it is to where you're gonna be like this is not worth it to me i don't know what that income is i'm thinking it's around two hundred thousand dollars a year so if you're over 200k a year you're probably not gonna want to lose if you're under it most of us are you're probably gonna want to do this because it'll save you some money so on to the next thing all right so now we are going to be cleaning out the AC condenser at the front of the car here. We're just removing these plastic covers. When you're removing these plastic covers, try to start from the edge and that way you can see where it's, it's plugged in at. You don't wanna be pulling from the edge and then break a clip. You're not going to. So just pull right on top of the clips like that. And then you can kinda move along so you don't break anything and then it all comes out nicely, but you can see there, there's where all the clips are and that's how it all works. The other maintenance item that I had done that I was just reminded of this 12 volt battery here, I got a notification from Tesla that it was low on charge. So for 116 bucks, they came and did it next day, took care of that, no problem. It's also a lot cheaper than I expected. So now we have to get this tub out. So let's get this all removed. Also, some people have asked, these are 3D mats, 3D trunk and frunk mats. I'll have the discount code in the description for that. Yeah, so we're gonna undo these right here and this tub should pop out fairly easily. A little 10 mil action. Got a huge open space here. This is kind of incredible. And this is where Tesla is, see their packaging is just amazing the high voltage cables here labeled in orange so it's easy to identify them but yeah it's just to have this space to store stuff in and then here is the part that we are trying to access right here so we're just going to pop this off with the clips and clean it out see how dirty it is 65,000 miles i've never done this it's going to help the ac system run more efficient this is what 95 percent of tesla owners miss when maintaining their car it's gonna let the car run more energy efficient. Probably not gonna stink as much in the cabin. Let's see what's in here. All right, also I just noticed this says super manifold here with a Tesla logo. I don't know what that is, kind of funny. Okay, so for this, there are some clips. So there's a clip here and it's just a, you pinch like this and it slides down through this. So you need that. Then you have one, two, three, four, five, six of these clips. You just press up on that tab and then you'll be able to pull back like this. Then you have one more a clip over here. Again, it's a pinch and push down through and that releases this entire plate. I recommend doing this with someone if you can. It just helps to have extra hands to be able to hold and then pinch and pull. But the access is going to be tight. I'm not going to pull off the entire panel. I just need to be able to pull it back and then be able to vacuum it out. But look at all the junk that is down in here. You can see up in these corners especially and then there's just bugs and dust and in like straw and all that stuff that you see on the sides of the road as you're driving doing road trips this is going to help a lot in blowing cold air and letting the car run efficiently all right so now that we're going to close this all up because i have access i'm going to give this a quick wipe down with this all-purpose cleaner 25 percent off linked in the description broken record i'm not going to spray it directly onto the surface because i don't want any chance of overspray to hit everything so i'm just going to take it to the side here and get this dirty microfiber covered and then we're just going to do a little wipe down again you don't have to do this might not change much but it's just good to know everything down here is clean and taken care of and uh, it doesn't take that much more effort and you're down here anyways so you might as well do it it really gives you access look at all that it really gives you access to everything in the engine bay you can even see in these strut towers here you get some of the as i like to call it blue liquid off you guys are like i'm not taking advice from this guy because he called blue liquid because you've never made a joke in your life and i i get it but like loosen up a little bit you know Stop fighting internet wars and, you know, do something in the real world. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Ooh, I like this. I like this texture. That's something I'd play with as a kid for like 12 hours straight. Yeah. So quick, yeah, quick wipe down here just makes it all look good. 
I don't know that Tesla would ever actually do this service. It's tough to say, but here at the Jeeves organization, we show you how to do it for yourself. This is investigative journalism, if you ask me. It's all cleaned up. Let's package it back up and we'll be good to go. So that video should have been helpful to you. A lot of low cost items that you can just do on your own out of your own convenience and get to understand your car a little bit more and how it works. Now, if you wanna see how to properly wash your car, click this video right here. This is very helpful. It's nice to watch. You get me narrating it. It's been nominated for some Academy Awards. It's an excellent video. Click this to perfectly clean your Tesla.